Yen Sang Hong is the apparent founder of the World Mission Society Church of God. The church members regard him as God in the flesh and the second coming of the Messiah. But here are some facts about him and his teachings that many of you wouldn't know. Number one, he believed the heavenly New Jerusalem is not a person or a heavenly mother, but a building. On page 19 of his book entitled Problems with the New Jerusalem, the Bride and Woman's Veils, he said, Heavenly New Jerusalem means 144,000 saints, but they must be New Jerusalem that is an actual building. If New Jerusalem as an actual place does not exist, then where will the 144,000 saints live in heaven? And page 20, he says, Revelation 21, 1-4 records that the New Jerusalem, or Tabernacle of God, is with the people, and this tabernacle is not a person, but a divine building. So why are we claiming that the saints are the church and the 144,000 saints are the New Jerusalem? Because every church thinks a building is, a, is church or New Jerusalem. But I want to make it clear that church is where saints are gathered and the New Jerusalem is where 144,000 saints will enter. In his own words, he regarded the New Jerusalem not as a person, but as a divine building and an actual building where the 144,000 saints will enter and live. It is not any heavenly mother or goddess. What if this shows that he never believed in any god the mother? Number two, he was legally married to a woman named Juan Juan San, and together they had three children. He never leg legally divorced her, even while apparently being married to Jiang Jilja, that's adultery. Maybe that's why he was never legally married to Jang Jilja, the so-called heavenly mother. He can't marry another woman while being legally married to another. Number three. He was a Buddhist for 30 years before becoming a Seventh-day Adventist. One would have to wonder why God in the flesh would be worshipping false gods for 30 years. And why wouldn't he have made his church, which is apparently the only true church of God, why didn't he make it from the very beginning? Instead of joining the Seventh-day Adventists and being a Buddhist for so long, why didn't he just start off with his religion? Number four, the World Mission Society Church of God predicted the end of the world in 1988, 1999, and 2012. Is this a lie of Satan? Well, the Northern Seoul Regional Court of South Korea documented these failed predictions of the church as factual. You can see the court case yourself. Download it online if you want, and you should read Deuteronomy 18, 21-22 while you're at it. And number five, he never claimed to be God. I challenge anyone to find a quote where he does. What if that whole thing is just made up by the members of the church? Number six, he said, and I quote, salvation is found in no other name than Jesus, not only at his first coming, but even in the last days. This quote is found in his book entitled The Mystery of God and the Spring of the Water of Life, page 181. You can check it out if you want. He never said salvation is found in his name, nor did he claim to be Jesus. So these are just a few facts and quotes about this man who many regard as God in the flesh. God in the flesh wouldn't be a Buddhist for 30 years. God in the flesh wouldn't have children and commit adultery, having a pretend marriage while still married to another woman. God in the flesh would never make false prophecies. All these facts prove to us that this man is not God at all, and he's not even a prophet. He's just one of the many false prophets in the world and a false messiah. He didn't even believe that the New Jerusalem is God the Mother, and I doubt he even acknowledged the existence of any God the Mother. If you disagree, then prove that I'm wrong. If you're part of that church, I urge you to repent. You are worshipping an idol. That man is not God at all, nor is his wife. They are just normal but deceptive sinners, and most likely created their religion to get rich and achieve that abundantly. Please leave that church and serve the living and true God. The Bible says we are justified by grace and faith, not by works. So repent and put your faith in Jesus for your salvation. His name and his name alone.